going forward, how do you see that evolution of your in-house tech talent and expanding that beyond the country? I mean, I, I have been following the interesting story about Safaricom Ethiopia. Yeah. Uh, one thing first, you know, despite the political uncertainty mm. in Ethiopia, I mean, mm. kudos to Safaricom, the fact that you've jumped in there mm. and the numbers are starting to actually show. Yeah. How much of that has, that build that has happened in Ethiopia and continued to happen, how much of that has been from Safaricom HQ in Kenya? And how much have been <laughs> from, you know, if you don't mind my asking. No, I, I can share that, it. it yes, it's actually yes. very emotional because... Yes. You know, Ethiopia started as a, you know, greenfield, discussion with Greenfield. Mm. We drew the initial architectures in my office at the okay. corner. And what would it look like? And probably, I would mm. think in my mind, at least probably 50 people who just sat on this floor are now working in Ethiopia. Wow. Uh, probably wow. about three, three at least, who used to report to me directly. Okay. And so just, just in one area. Mm. But even if you look at the network, mm. the the cons the consumer business the commercial the side. commercial side yes. also coming from your yeah, hr mm. and so the talent and at the time you know we were saying we need to release the best we shouldn't be the person who is kind of shaky mm. and so we gave our best to ethiopia okay. and happy with what they've done and and i was double hurting a lot mm. uh, i still the last project I got involved was the MPESA launch, but the mm. initial launch, a lot of work. We also test got to test things that it's a greenfield. There is no legacy. Mm. What do we want to do? So we did like a converged network and IT infrastructure first time there. We have full biometric registration there. And so what we are doing is taking a lot of that capability, bringing it here. But I'm very happy also recently when they were looking at a, a touch point NPS, net promoter score, uh, capability they took the one we use here which is one of our in-house built software and so now we are beginning to collaborate but even beyond that if i look at mpesa africa and where mpesa is going on the continent it is also coming our former head of engineering uh elizabeth is now working in uk in vodafone i mean even the md yeah uh, i mean uh, yes sitoyo sitoyo yes is originally yes. from um safaricom yeah. yeah and so liz was a fantastic story she mm. she i'd say in many ways you can call her the mother of decode one okay. and soon nice. after that she went to work for vodafone and is looking at an in whole engineering uh team that serves the whole of Europe and also collaborates with Africa. And so now we are taking time. The whole of Europe? Is yes, that, for Vodafone. Uh, for Vodafone. Ah, yes. Nice. And nice. so, you know, she's she's also connecting us with where what's happening there. She's tapping into what's happening here. But also I believe it opens doors for mm -hmm. other young people who want to go. Uh, we've also gotten a lot of our tech talent, Ali, uh, go to AWS, to Microsoft. Uh, when AWS recently launched their office here, uh, I told the president seventy percent of these engineers. Are I was from actually Safari. shocked about that. It's 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 a fact. I was I was shocked. That, that office you walk in. Yes, it's, I, they it's, were just it laughing. Is, um, yeah. Safaricom. Yes, yes. That is. <laughs> and now it's, and now it's I'm no longer complaining like when we. I don't know if I complained, but I took a lot of shots from you and others when <laughs> when I was losing my talent. But now I'm I'm, I'm happy because. Instead of, you know, it's I say it's a story of turning lemons to lemonade. We came and just reviewed our culture, mm. our compensation. Mm -hmm. uh, we came from job grades to what we call a contribution model. Yes. And now giving a Could full you engineering on track. That, on the contribution model. So the contribution model is very interesting because we broke the whole old job grade system mm. for engineers. Mm. And we said, you can have a track of leadership. Like myself, I've taken that track, mm -hmm. but we all start together and then we split somewhere. Okay. And you can take a craft track okay. where you become a master and an expert. And pretty much at those levels, you are at peers with your director. Mm. And wow. you can even okay. go above because of what you're contributing to the business, your skill set. And sometimes we say it's the difference between ordering a meal on a menu and mm. being the guy who writes the menu and a menu that's accepted. And so our and so people understand they don't need to leave Safaricom to have an engineering uh, career path. 
there is an engineering career path. And we benchmarked with big tech uh, who take this direction. And I saw the attrition rate go from above 20% to below 5%. And right now, then we expanded Italy also by creating the industry digital talent program where we brought all those partners, even the ones who are headhunting, and we said, can we train talent? And so we go to universities, then we connect them into internships. Then at Decode, we launched the portal yes. where all of us can go there. Look I have for, looked at it. For UI, yes. UX, yes. look for this. Hmm. And uh, recently, uh, I was uh, with uh, one of the senior, I guess one of the owners of Computech. He told me, George, I need 10 engineers. I said, we have an industry digital talent program. Please go onto the portal. You can get it. Uh, and it's something we want, not just, we have a few embassies on it as well. We want them to also connect both training opportunities, internships, as well as job opportunities, even outside Africa. I'm very happy to also say the PS of ICT has asked for the platform. We have given it to them yes. as both open source and white label. And they want to use it for the That's whole of Kenya. Engineer Tanui. Engineer Tanui. Yes. When he saw it, he says, I love this. Can we mm -hmm. get it? And the team that built it is here. And uh, it's a Naisenya Mungai did it. And I just asked Naisenya and she said, yes, we want this tool to be for anyone can take it anywhere. It's about connecting opportunities for Africans. So we can't sell it. So we are packaging it. It's going to go. Anybody wants it, they can use it. But we want to have the biggest tech talent uh, ecosystem uh, in the continent. And so I, I'm very excited about that. And, and some of them, Ali, write me stories from Dublin. And they're like, you know, George, I would not be here if it was not for you. So, George, those <laughs> those tough conversations over drinks uh, yes. a couple of years back uh, at the beach in Mombasa yeah. uh, have started bearing fruit. Oh, they've, they've borne a lot of fruit.